His teeth already look so wobbly. If I give him a good punch, how is he gonna chomp on me? Well... Hello everyone! Welcome back! If you're new, hi, I'm Kristen. Go subscribe. I'm entertaining, I swear. And if you are and have notifications on, which you should, turn them off and then turn them back on again. YouTube has been glitching and I just want to make sure that you guys are actually being notified when I post. There's a lot more of you guys watching me. I didn't realize that until literally maybe before I filmed this video. I just look at the comments and I say hi. That's basically it. So hello! How, how are you doing? How's everything going? You like my shirt? I went thrift shopping in my brother's closet and I stole, I mean borrowed it permanently. It's fine. He won't even miss it. I don't even think he even realized he had it. Eh, finders keepers. Alrighty, so today we're going to be talking about another internet cryptid that I found quite interesting and I've actually wanted to do a video on for quite a while now. The cryptid is called Cartoon Cat and it's a malicious entity that looks quite freaky. I know it isn't an SCP, but I do find creatures like this interesting to research just because of how similar they are. Before we get into it, I just want to let my younger viewers know that this creature was created by a Toronto-based horror artist called Trevor Henderson. He created other creatures like Long Horse, Siren Head, which I also did a video on if you haven't watched it, go watch it, and the man with the upside down face, among many others. So it's not real, no need to be afraid, okay? Alrighty, let's get into some background information. So like I said, Cartoon Cat is a hostile cryptid that takes the form of a giant feline and resembles a cartoon cat named Felix from the 1930s, hence its name, Cartoon Cat. Apparently, Cartoon Cat is so malevolent and dangerous that even other cryptids are afraid of it and try to stay away from it. Yeah, so let's say you ever stumble upon something remotely similar to Cartoon Cat, I want you to turn around and run very fast. Its body is made up of a rubber-like texture that apparently allows it to change its form at will, stretching its body parts and even adding features like multiple eyes seen in this picture. I say supposedly because there's no definite evidence other than the image consistency seen in every photo of Cartoon Cat. It's usually seen with a wide, almost malicious grin with blood usually dripping out of it, implying that it has recently eaten, I wonder what, or that it clenches its jaws so hard that it digs into its own gums. Its skills include stalking, self-distortion, shape-shifting, and symphokinesis, which is the ability to manipulate sound and music. I'd assume that Cartoon Cartoon Cat would use its symphokinesis ability in the same fashion that the sirens from Greek mythology use it, as a tool for luring humans to their own demise. Although its goals aren't clear, it does seem to like stalking humans, entering people's homes uninvited, and committing overall atrocities. What a track record. Ahem, may I introduce Cartoon Cat. Crimes include stalking, breaking and entering, kidnapping, probably, mass murder, also probably, man-eating, and overall crimes against humanity. Impeccable, if I do say so myself. Now it's stated that no one knows exactly where Cartoon Cat originates from, but it's theorized that it was from a TV series that was abandoned in 1939. I know, I know, you're probably like, well who would watch a TV show where the character looks like that? But according to sources, before it was abandoned, it actually looked friendly and you know not insanely nightmarish regardless it still remains very unclear how cartoon cat was able to manifest into the physical world seeing as it was originally a cartoon which you know is just a drawing on a piece of paper either it was somehow brought to life through its desire to enact revenge on the humans who abandoned it or it's an evil entity just taking the form of an old cartoon mascot. You know like in It, how Pennywise was originally an actual human, but then an alien from space came down and like took over their body? Yeah, I'm guessing it might be like that. Okay, so now that we know Cartoon Cat's background, let's get into the multiple recorded sightings of it. I will be showing pictures associated with each Cartoon Cat sighting. Some of them have blood illustrated, as well as, you know, some of them kind of look disturbing. That's just the disclaimer, I'm putting it out there. They're always going to be appearing on the left side of your screen, so either cover that side of your phone, or close your eyes and just listen if you're just interested in the story and not the visuals. If you guys noticed, I also tuned down the music because I got a lot of comments where people were saying that they were scared. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna turn that volume down. All right, so on August 4th, 2018, before the first official sighting of Cartoon Cat, what's known as the predecessor picture was discovered. As depicted in the photograph here, a large creature resembling what would be known as Cartoon Cat 
can be seen in an abandoned building snaking around the corner of an entrance into the room where the person who took the photo was located. Instead of the usual flat face that Cartoon Cat usually has, this creature had what appeared to be a snout, leading some to believe that there are many hybrids of Cartoon Cat, such as a cartoon dog. On August 10th, a second photograph surfaced with a caption, What they found in the dirt mall. Here's the picture. In this photograph, which was taken in yet another abandoned place, this time a mall, we get the first actual image of Cartoon Cat. It can be seen walking towards the strangers who had the unfortunate fate of crossing paths with it. I think what creeped me out the most about this image is 1. I feel like its eyes are boring into my soul. And 2. It's smiling really widely. Why are you smiling? I don't know. To me, it's very unnerving. Have you ever heard the quote, not every smiling face is your friend? I really think that applies here. Next on the timeline is August 15th, just 5 days later where another photograph was revealed. Here it is. Paired with it was this cryptid caption. All the classics are coming back. Yeah, uh, no thanks. When I think of classics, I think of Mickey Mouse and Scooby-Doo, not Mr. Gum Disease over here. Speaking of gum disease, look at his teeth. It already looks so wobbly. If I give him a good punch, how is he gonna chomp on me? Well, he won't have any teeth. They'd fall out. He'll literally be looking like the Yeti from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I know, know which one I'm talking about. Think smart, not hard, guys. Just, just one on one. If he was real, he'd never catch me slipping. Just putting that out there. Anyways, back to the photo. It looks to have been taken from a car, probably the driver's seat, seeing as like there are headlights. Cartoon Cat can be seen standing in the middle of a crossroad, blocking the car's path, but the only thing allowing it to be visible is the car's headlights. In the picture, its head is very elongated, allowing its head to almost touch the ground. And is it just me? Or does the head appear to be slithering towards the person in the car? Finally, more than a month later, on September 26th, a picture of the last noteworthy sighting of Cartoon Cat was released. In the picture, Cartoon Cat appears to be in someone's house, peering at them as they lie on their bed from a crack in their bedroom door. Just by looking at his eyes, I can tell you he looks very, very happy. And he has no business being that happy. Not even I'm that happy. I know this thing isn't real, but oh my lord, when I saw this picture, I literally whipped my head around to my door that's over there, and I was staring at the crack in the door for at least 10 seconds. I don't know about you guys, but I do get terrified thinking that someone is watching me. Like, someone, something, I don't know. It's probably because it's happened before. Yeah, it's just not, not a very pleasurable experience. That's it for sightings, but I just wanted to briefly touch upon something that I discovered that honestly gives me the creeps. It's moral awareness. We as human beings have moral awareness. We know what's right and we know what's considered wrong, regardless of if we agree with it or we don't. Well, so does Cartoon Cat. Unlike many, if not most cryptids who hunt or hurt humans for, you know, simple animalistic reasons, like, you know, they need to eat, no strings attached other than they need to eat, Cartoon Cat is consciously aware of what it's doing. It knows that hurting humans and hurting other animals are wrong, yet it continues to do it anyways. And because it has this awareness of what it's doing, it means that every time it hurts someone or attempts to eat them or do something else, it might not always be due to primal urges. It might be doing it simply for fun. So when you see it smiling in those photographs, it's most likely not because it just looks that way. It has full malicious intentions behind that smile. Yikes. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like. Comment down below what you think of this cartoon cat. And, you know, any other cryptids or, like, SCPs that you personally like or find fascinating. Yeah, and if you don't really have anything to comment, you can still just comment hi and I'll say hello back. Finally, man guys, I just really want a mic. One, because the people in my house are so loud. They make so much noise, especially my brother. Kyle, if you step on a Lego piece, just know it's very likely that I put it there. Second reason is because I have to strain my voice to talk through the camera, and that takes so much effort. I'm so tired, guys. I cannot expend more energy than I already do. Oh yes, also, I forgot. If you have any more video suggestions, like paranormal and stuff, I'd love to hear them. I do have a bunch prepared, but I just want to know if there's anything that you guys found fascinating. Oh, there's this one called Megan is Missing. I wanted to do a, like, true crime series. If you're interested in that, let me know. This one isn't true crime, but I already watched it, and I thought that it might be interesting to, like, delve into it, especially since a lot of people seem to be horrified or, like, scared to watch it. 
I can just give you the summary. Just let me know. All right, it was wonderful talking to you. I had a lot of fun, but I need to go study for my exam. So I will see you next time. Bye. Before I go, I forgot to mention, no upload next week. I am stressing over the five midterms that I have, so I cannot edit, I cannot do anything. I am going to be in my room, not eating, not sleeping, not drinking, just studying.